Vente a ti, hermano, te quedes. Ahí voy. Vente a ti, hermano, te quedes. Ahí voy. Dora de los Santos Bosmans is well known in her community of El Dorado, Texas, because over the course of her life, she has owned restaurants, small businesses, has served in city council, has won Woman of the Year, and even has a street named after her. But one of her many passions that still has people showing up to her door to this day is being a curandera meaning a spiritual healer for the community. So today we are thankful that we get to sit down with Dora to talk about her life, her faith, and we'll also get to view a demonstration for the spiritual healing remedy of susto, meaning the fear. My name is Dora de los Santos Bosman. I'm 92 years old. I was born September, uh, October the 31st, 1928. How long have you lived in El Dorado? There, we moved here when I was three months old, from the Rio to El Dorado. And since then, I've been living here all this time. Born in Del Rio in South Texas, Dora's parents moved north to El Dorado to pick cotton. As migrant workers in the 1960s, the family traveled as far as California to find work. Her formal education ended abruptly in the third grade to help feed her family. She's worked ever since she was little. Wow. Because it was her mother and three, and three sisters. And the sisters were younger, so mother would, uh, my grandmother and my mother would take off on a Sunday afternoon and go stay in a ranch for like a week and then come back on the weekend and the two little girls will stay with the grandmother and uh, my my grandmother and mother would go and stay on a ranch to work what was it you're working for were, mom at two dollars a day two fifty two fifty two fifty a day, 50 a, day. a day she was little and and she went to work because uh, her father left them when they were little. He was a musician. We used to camp in, in a, under a tree. Camping under a tree? That's what we used to do. Wow. We used to lay just a blanket. The rancher the didn't provide a house week. or anything. They all stayed outside. What were you doing, Mom? Wow. What was it you were doing? Pulling a bed of wheat. The one that was uh, bed for the cows. You had to pull it. You had to pull it by hand. You had to pull it by hand. Pulling. Ever curious growing up, Dora was drawn to the folk remedies practiced by the women elders in the barrio. Remedies she would later be called upon to use. As the word spread about her gift of healing, community members began to seek her out. And people have always come, have always come. As mm -hmm. far as I can remember, and I'm 67, people have always come knocking on the door. They come at late at night sometimes, at nine. That's late for us. Wow. And they're knocking on the door to see if she can cure somebody. Or they'll wow. call and we'll say, yeah, go ahead, come on. We can, we'll do it. We'll, we're, we'll wait up. From her modest home in the barrio on the north side of El Dorado, Texas, Dora de los Santos receives a steady stream of community members seeking a cure for susto, meaning scare or fright, ojo, meaning evil eye, empacho, meaning indigestion, or caída de mollera, meaning the fallen or soft spot on the top of an infant's head. And we do, we always ask them, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. How did... Why do you feel that you need to get this? What happened? Mm -hmm. And they usually tell us, mm -hmm. you know, and we, you know, we always tell them to be, uh, to seek, to seek God, to seek, uh, you know, a better living, mm -hmm. you know, to live better or, you know, to be better, yeah. to be a better person. Although many come to see her, Dora is clear that she is not the one that is doing the healing, but rather she says it is through their own faith that they heal. 
I, I'm, I'm not the heel. If when they come, mm -hmm. they they believe that they're gonna feel better. It's the faith they that do. they have. It's the faith that they have. Mm -hmm. It's faith. Mother's not. She doesn't feel like she's the healer. Mm -hmm. It's their faith. So you need a white sheet to cover the person. So we're using this one. Okay. kind of difficult. Cover the person from head to foot. I just, I just say it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and to the Spirit. Amen. Three times. And then I start praying in nombre y sea de la Virgen Santísima y la, San, la Santísima Virgen Le de su alivio. Creo en Dios Padre. Vente, tema, no te quedes. Ay, voy. Vente, te ama, no te quedes. Ahí voy. Vente, te ama, no te quedes. Ahí voy. Y dice... I'm my bed. That's her little bed. That's all I have in there. Oh, wow. And that cross is made by the from the palms that you receive on Palm Sunday. Mm. Dora de los Santos Bosmans provides her healing remedies completely free of charge. So when we asked her why she still continues to provide her help, her daughter Thelma Bosmans had some words to share about her mother. Mother has always been a caring woman. Since uh, I can remember, something happened in, uh, in, in town, my mother would rush over there. Mm. She would rush over there to see the family. Mm. And she's always done that until recently when she, she stopped driving. Mm -hmm. Now she doesn't, you know. But yeah. that's something that mother has learned. Mother has always done that. She took care of her mother till she passed away. Wow. And she ended up in the nursing home and, and mother went every day. So that's just something, we don't understand it, but that's something Mother has always done. Wow. Very caring, very, um, always rushing to when people were in need. That's, wow. There was, a, there was a, an old man that was dying, and then the, the wife uh, told a friend, why don't you tell the daughter to come in and, and pray a rosary for him? Because mm -hmm. he's been dying for I don't know how many days. Mm -hmm. So this lady called me and they said, they said, yes, I will. I said, okay, I'll go with you. I, I, I rose for him. Mm -hmm. I used to kneel down, not anymore. Mm -hmm. And I came back and then the lady that went with me, she called and she said, Dora, the man died, mm. and then she said, you killed him. <laughs> no, I think it was his peaceful. Right. Yeah, he just needed peace. Yes, yes. that's interesting. But he yes. needs that. Mother's very faithful to mm -hmm. her faith. She goes to, to Mass every morning. Mm. You know, um, it's just a 25-minute Mass, but it's every morning. and. Um, She's there on Saturdays. She's never, you know, fallen away from the faith. Even though she's lost two children, a 17-year-old senior wow. of cancer, a 47-year-old daughter of cancer. Mm -hmm. and, and my father uh, passed away four months after my younger brother passed away. Wow. So it, it's been one hit after another for mm -hmm. mother. But she has stood 
-hmm. and has never faltered away from her faith. Mm -hmm. Dora has gone through her fair share of pain in her life. Perhaps Dora's work as a healer was inevitable, as she is able to relate to their pain and help them through it. Besides providing spiritual comfort to others with her folk healing remedies, Dora has also helped the community in other ways, such as pushing for sewage lines to be built in her barrio of El Dorado. Have other things that she liked to do or other Well, hobbies? my mother served in the, on the city council for 23 years. Oh, wow. wow. The El Dorado uh -huh. city council? Mm -hmm. oh. Third grade education. That's she amazing. owned. A, she owned. Uh, she co-owned a restaurant oh, for a while. Wow. Mm -hmm. My mother, for not having, she got Woman of the Year. What? Despite being from very humble beginnings, Dora has become an impactful leader and healer to many in her community. So, that's her characteristic. That she's strong. Mm. She's strong, and she believes in what she does. Mm -hmm. She believes in this, mm -hmm. and the people that come to see her believe in it. She loves her community, and the community loves her right back. 